Always drama with me, wherever I go, because of TikTok. Because this is my job. This is how I make my money. Half a million pounds I've made on TikTok. Don't mess with me, darling. I don't even have a laptop. They should be opening up the fucking doors to me, sweetheart. Hey, people, what's up? What's up? What's up? How are you doing? This is so late. I know it's late. Well, not really that late for me at the time recording, but I am in Canada on the East Coast. So you guys in the UK are five hours ahead of me. So it's extremely late for you guys. But I just wanted to talk about what happened at that Turkish dessert restaurant with Chelsea Lee Art. I don't know what it is or what the lack of thinking is when it comes to her and videotaping in the washroom. Not only did we have the incident, what, like two days ago with the painter and her leaving her phone in the washroom. And luckily he did spot it else. We would have had an incident on our hands, but no restaurant, department store, grocery store eatery any place of business wants one person a patron as you would call them as you will go into their washroom and be recorded inside of there is too much liability is too much of an incident and it is no bueno it is no good because you as a restaurant owner a, a store owner a business person you're so liable, even though it's not your fault that this person, what I mean by this person, I mean CLA, would go inside your place of business and start recording the washroom. How can you not understand that that is not okay? I, I don't get this. How can you not understand that that is such an invasion of privacy to, I don't know, get go out of a stall or walk into the washroom and there's somebody there recording? It's such a slap in the face. And that is a lawsuit waiting to happen for any business owner. So of course they're going to be upset. Of course they don't want you to. Of course they're going to want you to leave. Of course they're going to tell you to stop recording. And this is not the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, tenth, twentieth, 20th, 30th time that CLA has done this or tried to do this. And then they have to tell her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's like she is doing this because she knows it's going to cause some sort of controversy and drama. But then again, even if you're having 5,000 plus people, yeah, they're there to watch the shit show happen. They're there to watch the train, watch you crash out, watch you make a fool of yourself. But at the end of the day, is it really worth it? How much money did she get? I was listening to Charming Villain, of course, because I do uh, like Charming Villain's content and perspective on a lot of things. I watch The Observer UK, etc., etc., etc. Shout outs to all the um, all the club channels out there that really do, you know, give me a heads up or, you know, of, of what's been happening when I am just too busy to watch live. <sighs> What else can I say about this whole situation? I don't know. Sooner or later, like, Love Averages is going to take hold of this entire situation. Murphy's Law is also going to take hold. All the bad things that you think will happen or might happen can and will happen. And if you place yourself in a very bad situation over and over and over and over again, there is going to come a time or times, plural, that you are just going to get yourself into a lot of shit. And these days, you never know who you're testing or whose uh, toes you're stepping on in the public. So you can wild out. You could do it for fun. You could do it for views. You could do it for the donations. But at the end of the day, somebody might just get really pissed off, might have a really bad day, and then they're going to take all their anger and frustrations on what's happening in their lives, their family members' lives, at work, at school, or wherever else. They're just going to take it out on you. So CLA needs to be careful, especially with the whole washroom thing. Lawsuit waiting to happen. And she needs to stop antagonizing people. It's it's just not good. Anyways, people, I'm out of here. Um, it's another short one, but just my opinions on a lot of stuff. Take it what you will from this. Leave me a comment. Give me your opinion. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe. 
uh, smash that like button, all that good stuff. Also, check out my TikTok. If you don't know, I'm on TikTok and I will be posting. I do post my videos over there. Cheers. Mm -hmm.